Good morning, Australia and New Zealand and everybody else who's watching. Just bear with me a second. I'm just bringing it up on screen and making sure I've got no volume. Turning my comments on. Morning, Linda. Hello, darling. How are you this morning? Hey, Jen. Okay, how are we all? Good. Hey, Karen. Oh, God, I've started well by kicking the camera. I'm off to a good start this morning. How are we all? Are we all good? Oh, it's afternoon in New Zealand. I see that. Hello. It's only 10.32 a.m. here in Adelaide. Um, so I have been to the gym, had my, had my sweat this morning, got all of that organised and done and out the way and um, ready for a big day. Um, super excited. The Great Australian Craft Show is on again and we have got four days of crafting for you guys, which is fantastic. So four days of um, sales and bargains and it's, for those of you who haven't done one before it's like a online craft show uh, well it's like a face-to-face -face craft show except for you just get to hang around on Facebook and on the internet and you go to craftalive.com.au and they have got all the links there um, to check out some fantastic exhibitors. Um, over the next four days I will be doing two live Facebooks every day and you will find them back here um, on my personal Facebook page um, every day at 10.30 Adelaide time which is 11 o'clock Australian Eastern Standard I think and um, also 2 o'clock in the afternoon um, Australian Eastern Standard and on Saturday I won't I probably won't be doing a morning session which I haven't really confirmed that yet but um, I won't have a morning session but I will be having a um, afternoon and probably a late night crafty session I thought I might do that so Friday night I've got my mum's 70th birthday to go to um, I'm anticipating a smallish sort of hangover so um, I thought that I would uh, take Saturday morning off but um, so for those of you who don't know on my website which is nataliemay.com.au you will find today I have got a Thursday special for Thursday only you will find Dina Wakeley paints and Dilutions paints in the little bottles at 15% off so um, they are on special and tomorrow I have got a brand new special, which you are going to want to come back for. So um, I've also got 15% off stamps, stencils, papers, and all Lindy's products. So today I'm going to be demonstrating with some stencils, some Lindy's products, and just making some quick and easy card fronts. So um, enough waffle, let's get into it. So for those of you who don't know, Lindy's Gang sprays have been around for 24 plus years. They are a well-established company and they are a small family business in based out of Washington and everything is produced, manufactured and packed in their garage at home. And that is what I love about this company. They are a family business and that, as we all know, is like ridiculously important. So, the Lindy sprays, when you purchase them, they come as a powder. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but what you do is you fill with warm water to the fill line, give it a shake and let it sit for 10 minutes. So, here in Australia, I boil water in the kettle um, boil water in the jug and let it come back down to room temperature so it's not stinking boiling hot um, and then I fill it up. Uh, South Australia water is notoriously crap so um, I, I tend to boil it first to get all of the impurities out of it, get all the crap out of it and then I've got a nice spray to use. Why did we do this? Um, why do Lindy's do this? So 
couple of reasons. They're much lighter to ship out to you guys. They travel better. They don't leak during travel. And then they're not going to go off if they were created, uh, sorry, if they were filled up with water from the other side of the world. So if they're filled up with filtered tap water from your side of the world, then there's a better chance that it's going to last significantly longer. So I've got a range of colours here that I want to play with. Um, and I'm going to show you some really cool, easy ways to make some card fronts. So I'm going to pop that guy aside. Um, the stencils that I'm using today, I'm going to be using some Stencil Girl stencils. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I design for Stencil Girl. They are, again, another small... <laughs> they are another small American company, again, a family-based business. And you know how much I love that. Um, so I'm going to be creating some cards using these. Uh, got a delivery in last night. The US postal system is notoriously slow at the moment. Um, and consequently, my orders are taking forever. But um, <laughs> good morning, Pina. Uh, but this one came in yesterday and also this guy, which is gorgeous. So I'm going to show you how to use this uh, this morning as well. Um, okay, so what I would like to do first of all is I'm going to create some bases with my on my cards um, using the stencils. And I'm going to be using gel medium to create like a resist technique for, for this purpose. So... Uh, this is impasto gel medium. So what the impasto means, it's got a little bit of body. The gel medium has got multiple purposes. So for today, we're going to be using it um, so that it's got a resist technique. Um, the stencil that I'm going to start with is... Um, I might start with this guy. So I'm not going to make my card this big. I'm going to... I should probably have cut that down first. So let's do that. So I sell these cards here in packs of 10 with envelopes online. Um, I think they're like $3, $3.50, something like that. And when I make cards, I tend to create card fronts first, which are just six by fours that I can then stick on the front of a card when I am ready. So this is my go-to for creating cards. So I want to, I've got some paper towel down in my background here and I've got my catalyst tool, as you can see, very well loved. For those of you who haven't seen this before, this is my tool that I use as a palette knife. What I like is that it's flexy, it is, um, it comes clean. So this one's a bit grotty and dirty at the moment. I can just scrape all of that off with my fingernail, uh, but I just tend to use a little bit of a, like my craft knife just to take off any excess paint and it comes nice and clean so so I'm going to use the gel medium to swipe over my stencil so I'm doing it like I'm buttering toast really and I will just I'm just doing a very very light coat I don't want to go too heavy and then peel it off and what has been left behind is that nice pattern there. So I'm gonna pop that aside and I need to dry it off in a moment. What's also important is I need to clean this. Um, because it is a glue, what actually happens is it will dry all gross and crusty on my, um, on my stencil. But before I do that, because I'm a waste not want not sort of person, I'm just going to transfer it. I'm gonna use it as a stamp and see if I can get a multi-use out of that. And then I will clean it. Just gonna use my paper towel to roll over the top. And then it's left a bit of a pattern on that as well. So I'm gonna pop that aside. Um, and then just quickly get a baby wipe and get that excess off so that it doesn't completely ruin my stencil. So I have used this stencil before in um, a couple of live Facebooks, as most of you know, but you know how much I love it. It looks really awesome. They came into stock yesterday and they're 15% off. So seriously, can't go wrong. Um, except for I just put my thumb in that. Shit. All right. So let's pop that aside. 
Oh, I need a swear jar today. I need to not swear during the lives. I apologise if anybody is offended by my casualness. Um, I'm not going to use the gel medium with that one. I'm going to spray that one later. And I'm going to use my building stencil. So my building stencil, I have used this one time and time and time again, as you can tell by the colour of it. Um, but you know how it goes. Everyone, you always go back to your favourites, don't you? Okay, same thing again. I'm just going to swipe down i'm not going to do the whole thing i'm not that fussed about it but peeling it off to leave a clear mark on there where you can see where the um, stenciling has been okay and again i'm going to clean that off so that it doesn't dry on my stencil so i just use a huggies baby wipe for cleaning off my stencils um, and if I'm using anything, <laughs> um, if I'm using anything heavier, I would go and throw them in the sink and dry them off properly. But because the, um, because the, the gel medium is an adhesive, they're going to dry on here and going to go pretty gross pretty quickly. Um, okay. The other thing I want to do is I'm going to use my, this is my All The Dots stencil from my personal collection. So uh, for those of you who don't know, I released my own stamps and stencils a little earlier this year. Um, thank you all for your support with that. I have just had to restock some of them because they sold out. So these guys are not on special. Um, I already have them at the lowest possible price. Um, but as you can probably understand, but you can... Um, certainly grab those online. So I'm just going to do a little bit in each corner here and a little bit more there. Voila. And wipe that guy over. So how's everybody's Thursday morning going? It is beautiful here in Adelaide. My two puppies are out laying on the lawn sunbaking. Um, they are being very, very comfortable and um, happy in the sun this morning. Um, all right, so I now need to dry off these backgrounds so that I can use them. So I have to apologize. You're just gonna watch me dry paint for a moment. Coffee break. So the, the heat gun that I'm using here is one of the, the big paint stripper ones. And I'm doing that because it's much, much quicker for um, doing demos. So I do not recommend using this at home because it will make things burst into flames quite quickly. And it gets very, very freaking hot. And yes, I probably should have done this before I started filming, but um, I wasn't actually that organized this morning. So quick trip to the gym because I don't like to break the habits um, and um, figured that I'd just give it a whirl and just wing it and see what happens today because I hadn't actually got any, any plans on what I was going to do for my life until I walked into the studio. So um, to be honest, I am winging it at its best today. I might be a bit more organised tomorrow. Alright, so they are... That one's not dry. Good morning to everybody who has just joined in. You get to watch me flounder around here this morning. Okay, so for those of you who have just 
joined in, what I have done is used a couple of stencils to create some backgrounds using gel medium so that these have dried um, almost transparent actually. So I've used some stencil girl stencils and uh, one of my personal stencils. So I'm just gonna let those sit and dry for a little longer and show you how to use the sprays first of all. Putting the lid back on that guy before it goes bad. All right. So when I um, use my when I use sprays, some of the tricks that I use, my work surface, I need something that is absorbent. So I have got here a puppy training pad. So a puppy training pad is super absorbent. So this is going to soak up any excess liquid that is um that my cat might go everywhere else so um try and keep my workspace as tidy as i possibly can um pff, who am i kidding and what i want to do now is i want to just do some basic spraying with the lindy spray so i will pull out uh, this stencil to start with and Actually, I might just do a flat on here and put another colour over the top. So the Lindy sprays, like I said, they come as a as a powder that you activate. So I have got here a copper and what I'm going to do, so a lot of people get stressed out when they spray. So the, the best way to do it is, number one, have a bit of confidence in what you're doing. It's, it's just paper. If you stuff it up, throw it in the bin. Like seriously, it's not that difficult. But what actually helps is having a little bit of confidence in what you are doing. So first step, always shake with a lid on. Um, that's a bit of a leaky one. So if you don't have a, a lid on it, then shake it with a piece of, pat, pa piece of paper towel across the top. And when you are spraying, you want to own it. Have a bit of confidence in what you're doing. Like I said, you want to press this nozzle down and not hesitate. When I spray, I move, helps if it's working, I move across my page like this. And the colour is going on. So where I get these little bits here is because it's almost empty. But what I can also do is I can layer up my colours. So you can see that that, you know, moving it backwards and forwards is getting a, a, an even sort of coverage. Um, now, I'm holding it up on an angle because I do want a little drip down here. And then I can quickly heat set that to um, so I can stencil over the top. So the two colours that I just used then, they are both Starburst sprays. So the Lindy's Starburst sprays have this beautiful shimmer to them and the shimmer is what makes the cut these these sprays unique and I think that they are fabulous so what I'm gonna do is dry this guy off because the Lindy sprays are a pigment dye based spray you have the ability to be able to layer the colors over the top so what I want to do now is now that that's 90% dry, is I'm gonna cut it in half. So, like so. And now I've got two simple backgrounds. And this one here, I'm going to use this stencil and I'm going to spray over the top. And I wanna use it in a darker color. So I have got dark chocolate truffle. And you can see that the color of the shimmer is going to be this beautiful, um, this beautiful deep brown. Shaking it backwards and forwards. Good morning, Kayleen. Good morning, Sophie. I see you guys sneaking in. All right, giving it a good shake before use. And what I've got is I've got my stencil on. Doesn't matter which way it really goes. So that works for me. And I tend to work in I test my colour first, yep. So same thing. Just moving it around, pick it up, move it around, take it off. And now I have got a really lovely little 
background that I'll heat set to dry. Now, the other cool thing is, is I've got my stencil here that has got the spray on it. So I can use it as a stamp. Flick it. I roll my paper towel off. Lift it. And there's my image ready to go. So now I've got another quick and easy little card front that I can also use. So I'm going to pop that aside as well. Now, because my background was actually quite uh, wet still, the colour has bled a little, but hey, you know what? I'm all right with that. I'm going to dry that off. No, I'm not going to dry it off. I'll put it aside to dry. All righty. So with this one here, what can I do? Um, I've got this botanical stencil. So I can take, oh, look, I could quite easily use a black ink or a black pen and go over this. Um, what have I got in front of me? Absolutely nothing, of course, because I didn't think about that until right now. Okay, so I have a black archival ink. Let's just wing it, shall we? Black archival ink, because that's the only one I've got in front of me. Um, and I want to add, I might add this guy in the middle here. And I've just got a little latex sponge because I've got no idea where my other things are. Well, hang on. Voila, look at that. That's what I want. God, anyone would think I've never done this before. All right, so black ink and I want to go over the top like so. So using the black archival ink means that it's gonna have a permanency to it, so it will mark your stencil. And that is okay because I'm not precious about it. And I get my image come up here. And then I can go over the top with a pen later. And make it work. And I might use this guy again, but I've flipped it. So I could use black paint to do this. I could. I don't want to use a stencil because I would probably mess that up. Uh, sorry, use a spray, but um, using an ink pad allows me to do that. And then I can take my black food ball pen. So the black food ball pen and draw in some of these lines, connect it to a base. I can draw it so that they are a little bit more squiggly. So it looks like I've hand drawn them myself because why not? That's what the whole idea of creating something is. You want to, that, to have it that, oh, look what she's made sort of look to it. And same thing with this one. So you don't have to leave a stencil looking exactly how, how it sprays. So I will finish this one off camera because you don't need to see me do that. But you can kind of see that just connecting up the lines and drawing some little elements in and around it will look fantastic. Um, I'll come back to that one. All right, so let's go to those ones that I prepared earlier. Dun, dun, dun. So I, you would not believe the mess I've got off screen here. Shocking. All right, so let's layer up some colors that I've got here. So I will start off with a purple. So you can see the shimmer sitting in the bottom of the Lindy spray. So you need to give that a, sh a good shake. You need to move it around a little first. Um, when I am creating backgrounds, I don't use colors that are going to clash. So using a purple, I'm certainly not going to mix it with a green. Although they visually look fantastic, when I mix them together, they're going to make brown. Nah, not as visually pleasing. So I'm going to go backwards and forwards to spray. Like so. And now I can choose to put another colour over the top. And you can see, can you see how that... Um, that stenciling I started off with has added that resist there. 
Dun, dun, dun. What have I got here? I've got a nice brown with a aqua undertone. So I'm just going to pop a little of that over as well. Not everywhere, just in the stenciled areas. And I'm going to roll my paper towel off to take off any excess. And it has now dry, well, looks amazing. I can quite easily create a quick little card, stick an embellishment on there, create a, um, a sentiment, pop it in the middle, pop a frame, stick it on my card front. Done. Tick. Okay, number two. Let's go for blues and greens. So this colour here is Tibetan Poppy Teal. This is one of my personal faves. This is probably easily my most used colour. Giving it a good shake because I haven't activated it this morning. And same thing again. Well, oh, look at that. So now you can see that gorgeous stencil that we used from before coming through. And I'm going to mix that with Lucky Shamrock Green. So to get, rather to, than having just a straight line through the middle here, I'm just going to spray the green down through the middle and then the teal over the top so that they blend in a little bit together. Um, yeah, Sophie, great tip. Hand sanitizer gets the permanent ink off. Fantastic, because there's like no shortage of hand sanitizer anywhere at the moment. <laughs> um, so I love this and I can just let that dry. But I'm going to take my roll of paper towel and just roll that straight over the top again. And it just um, speeds up the drying and I could also polish it off and it will clean up those spots really quite nicely. And that gel medium that we put on before has created a resist. So this technique will work in your art journals. This technique will work on your scrapbook layouts. It will also work on, what's this colour? Incandescent copper. Um, yeah, so to create card card fronts like this, it will work on all sorts. You, like I said, you're only limited by your imagination. I'm just doing it on this little, these little cards because they give me a quick and easy um, finish. So this is the first one. You can see that the resist, that gel medium has dried shiny. Um, so this is the incandescent copper. So this has got a lovely brown liquid or copper liquid to it. And the shimmer that sits on top is going to dry with that copper undertone. So now I'm going to put some of this dark chocolate truffle and just let it bleed down through that stenciling. And it gives it depth. And just because I can't leave it alone, I'm going to pop some gold. And just let that dry. I'm not going to roll my paper towel over that one. I'm going to heat set that one in a moment. Um, and what else did I do? Where's that other one? Yeah. So this is the one that I, I stamped my dirty stencil onto. So... I'm going to use one of the flat Fabios. So this is one of the flat colours with no shimmer. So this is Luscious Lime. Still needs a good shake. And this one has absolutely no shimmer to it. But it's packed with colour. So that looks pretty cool too. So what I might do with that one is roll over. So you can see that that stencil has created that, that lovely resist. Um, and because I can't leave it alone, I'm going to pop some gold over it. All right. So now it's got a bit of shimmer. Nice and easy. So the Lindy sprays are super versatile, but what makes them work is how you know, the confidence that you have with creating and when you're using them. So the moving backwards and forwards, having something to over to catch your overspray is super important as well. So then that way you've, you've got that confidence that you're not going to make a shocker of a mess. Um, so if you do hesitate, 
which most of us tend to do because we're nervous when we're doing something like this. When we hesitate, we tend to do this. And that's what I call an ink fart. You do a little ink fart. You don't, um, you know, you, you don't have that confidence. If you like that look, fantastic. But to get a nice spray, own it, own it, own it. Get in there. Move it backwards and forwards. And if you get that circle that I'm getting there, that's okay. It hasn't dried. So you can move it around. You have the ability to be able to do that because it's paper and it's up to you to make it work. And then you can move it around, let the, let the water do the hard work on it and let that dry, all right? So it's just about having a little bit of confidence in what you are doing. Um, I'm just going to get some of these out of the way so that I don't make a super big mess here. Um, once you dry this off, you can stamp on it, you can draw on it, you can stencil over the top, you can stick things onto it. There's so many things that you can do to use this now in a journal, use it on a card front, you can die cut it, you can do whatever you like. Lindy sprays are super duper versatile and they have a fantastic shimmer to them and a beautiful mica to them. And they're not a watercolour, they have a permanency to them that watercolours and water dye based sprays um, won't give you because they have a beautiful finish to them. So there you go, there is, and that's drying up just beautifully. All right, so I'm just gonna pop that one aside. So if I go back now to these guys here, so this is the one that, one of the first ones we did. So where I did the stenciling with the, um, where I did the stenciling with the gel medium, this is where it has added a resist. So like I said, I could now stick something over the top of this and I've just created a nice background for my card. I can get a white pen and draw a white frame around it. Um, I could die cut it and it would look fantastic. The stenciling, same thing, using my all the dots stencil. Um, again, I've created a nice base for, to build a card onto. Um, I can find some embellishments and stick on the top, pop some flowers on. What else have I got here? The, the lovely bright green one. This would be great for a kid's card. So you could quite easily pop some leaves and some flowers, stamp your sentiment across the bottom here. Um, the other one I had, I've lost. Nope, here we go. And this one that's still quite wet. I, I'm pretty sure that you can see that shimmer. The, the cardstock that I use is, this is the, um, the cardstock that I use to create cards with. So um, it's just a flat cardstock. It's, it's, it's got a nice weight to it. So if I was to make a card and pop these on it, what I would do is take it, fold it in half, and then create my card, stick it on the top like so. I would usually cardboard mount or foam mount to give it a bit of body and a bit of dimension. Um, but these are the cards that I, um, I sell them online, nataliemay.com.au and they are, I think, I want to say $3.50 for a pack of 10. They are super inexpensive. So um, I know I've got plenty in stock. Uh, so that's what I use. I, I don't use something thin and flimsy. Um, I, I don't love that at all. I think that um, you, if you're going to make a card for somebody, it needs to have a little bit of body and a bit of bit of oomph behind it. Um, I'm not into using inexpensive products for for my my paper crafting. So, um, so this is the one I did earlier where I stamped. Uh, I'd created my background with the copper, and then used the stencil and the black archival ink. And now just using the food ball pen to very, very messy scribble. Um, it's gone curly because it's wet. That is going to happen. 
So to stop the curliness, I would normally stick something heavy on top of it for, for 10 minutes, uh, pop it through my laminator, which is that heat thing, that heat press almost, um, or just let it dry properly and not be impatient. Um, and that will work. So, um, all right, so creating that. And then if I had, didn't do that one. So that's just using that stencil with the black ink and then I've just doodled around it. Um, if I was to now take, oh, I can't find a sentiment stamp, um, but just, just for you, written across the top, um, instant card. Don't have to overcomplicate it. Um, really, really easy. So that one is done. And then the one that I stuffed up earlier actually has dried up kind of nice. So you can see I, I planted the, the base down first with the, the copper, um, then used my spoked wheel stencil this guy here to spray over the top but because my background was still a little bit too wet it bled but it's given it a it's giving it a really awesome effect and again i now have a base to build onto uh what else did we have oh i did here we go and then this guy here was created using the dirty stencil where I just flipped the dirty stencil over the top and then if I cut that down I've got an instant card front that I just have to stick a stent like a, um, a sentiment onto so super easy um, so I hope I've given you some ideas I've shown you how easy it can be to use the Lindy sprays and to use stencils um, I hope that I didn't make it look hard for you. Um, oh my gosh, this looks so nice. Look at that. Um, and can you see that shimmer? Mm, see, look how sidetracked I get by pretty things. Um, so <laughs> please, oh yes, yeah, sorry, Tina. I was going to do that, wasn't I? The new stencil with the words. Okay. What do I do with it? Found it. Stop looking. Threw it across the room. Um, this one is called I Am Words, I think. And I'm going to just spray it straight onto there, straight onto the white cardstock, all right? Colour, colour, colour. Let's go for Tibetan poppy teal. Okay. Um, so, I'm I've just placed it on there. I'm not doing anything special. I'm just sticking it on. And then it is making sure you shake it. And then I'm going to go backwards and forwards over the top. Okay. Right, before I do anything else, I'm quickly going to roll my very dirty paper towel over the top to make sure I don't get any smudgy and then lift that up and we've got that done. So that looks really cool. So that can, and I've done that nice and soft. I mean, I can build on it. I can layer up, if I line that back up again, ish I can two-tone it how do I two-tone it end up with a green hand but you know that's okay and by rolling my paper towel off it's it's almost stopping the bleed as well so there you go Hey, I really, really like that stencil. So that's a Stencil Girl one. It's one of the brand new ones as well. And that is 15% off as well. So um, some fantastic bargains on the website uh, this weekend. 
Uh, stocks are limited on everything. But the other thing that I'm offering is paying for postage on your first order. Then every order that you do after that, you pay for, you get to the checkout, and then there will be a little button that you can press called No Judgment. And what that means is it will add one cent to your order and you can collate your orders together and I will post them off on Monday. So why would you want to do that? Well, every day, two to three times a day, I'm going to be doing a live Facebook like this where I'm going to show you something new. So if you go, oh my God, I've got to have that, then for sure you can. You can have that and not have to pay for postage again and again and again. Um, the other cool thing about it is today's daily special is acrylic paints. So Dina Wakely paints and Dilusions paints. So if you decide that you need tomorrow's daily special, which is not going to be the same, but you're going to love, um, then you can add those to your cart, purchase them, and I can put them all together for you and post them later. Um, so does that make sense? There goes your pay packet. Thanks, Tracy. Um, I, I'm, I'm the perfect enabler, aren't I? So, um, but yeah, look, the idea is, is to make it fun for you guys over the weekend, enjoy the process of creating, um, and try something new. But look, you got to play with the things as well. You can't just buy all the stuff and then go, oh, I'm just going to put it on my shelf because it looks pretty. Um, not okay to do that. Um, got to use it. Got to make me a card and send it to me. Let me see the things that you guys make. Um, oh, this has dried up really nice. Can you see that shimmer that the Lindy sprays have given you? So Lindy sprays, um, like I just said, they've got that lovely shimmer and they are 15% off. Um, Lindy's Magicals are 15% off, uh, embossing powers are 15% off, we also, or papers, so Minte papers, brand new Minte just arrived last week, um, Coco Vanilla arrived last week and that's brand new, all the Stencil Girl stencils I've just shown you, they are all available at 15% off as well and they, um, so all my favourite ones are there. And lots and lots of really cool things. So um, I'll be back again this afternoon for another live Facebook. I'm going to be doing a... Um, oh, I've also got these in. These arrived yesterday too. Um, paper rose. New stencils. Ten bucks, now 15% off. Um, okay, so um, totally sidetracked. So this afternoon, 2 p.m. Adelaide time, I'll be doing another live Facebook. And I don't know what I'm going to do this afternoon. I think I might do something with paint and maybe something in my art journal or on a scrapbook page. I don't know yet. We'll have a bit of a look around. Um, so thanks for staying to play. And if you have any questions, flick me a message. I will endeavour to get back to you all a little bit later. Um, and don't forget, jump on the website, nataliemay.com.au and um, I look forward to chatting with you all soon. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Kiss your kids. Wash your hands.